if you take fine rosewood and make it into beads and arrange them on a wooden board in a pattern of one up and four down, then you place the beads into the middle groove. To perform calculation, lower beads represent one, upper beads represent five, and every ten counts advance by one. Congratulations! You've invented the bead board calculator, but you notice that every time you use it, you need to rearrange the beads. So, being clever, you thread the beads onto wooden rods and fix them within a wooden frame. The rectangular frame combined with the beads symbolizes the ancient view around heaven and square earth, then above and below the beads. You add one extra bead each as reserves called the upper bead and lower bead. You also add a dividing bar across the frame, separating the beads into upper and lower sections. In line with the concept of yin and yang, the upper beads represent each heaven. worth five. The lower beads represent each earth. worth one. By moving the beads, you can perform calculations. Shifting one upper bead means five. Shifting three lower beads means three. When you want to add three more to that three, you move one upper bead and remove two lower beads. This is what people call three down, five in a tank and two. song dynasties. Shops replaced wooden beads with brass the ones. The rhythm of the clinking beads helped prevent cheating. When the abacus sounded, gold by the thousands was said to follow. From this also came rules like no false weights or hidden tricks. And so, congratulations, you've invented the abacus.